Frontier. Today I will be flying on an A320neo from Orlando to Raleigh in Frontier Economy class. Anyways, welcome to Orlando International Airport. I found this airport to not be the nicest, but it does the job. Luckily, I checked in online, so I managed to skip all the chaos at the check-in desks. I then headed straight to security, which was surprisingly fast. Although the screen said it would be over a 30 minute wait, it was much more like 10 minutes. They were also decorated for Christmas as this flight was taken in late December of 2022. The TSA agents were very nice, possibly the nicest I've ever seen at an airport in America. In order to get to all terminals, you must take the SkyTrain, which is a brief ride that leads to the center of your respective terminal. It also shows a great view of the aircraft. The terminal itself was alright, you could definitely tell it had its rough spots, but it did have quite a lot of shops and food choices. Burger King, Cold Stone, Hudson News, and more. They even had cool little airplane models. It was then time to head to the gate. Our assigned gate was gate 16, at least at first. This is when everything went downhill. We got to the gate expecting an on-time departure. However, the screen and gate agents said otherwise. The screen now said gate 22, which was on the other side of the terminal. At first, it got delayed around an hour, which wasn't the worst. And then they delayed it to 4.05 p.m. The screen shortly said to go to gate 12, so we went back to the original area of the terminal. But hey, at least I was getting my steps in. Now, the reason for the delay was that the aircraft that came in from Denver for our flight encountered a bird strike upon landing. But not a silly old pigeon or such, it was a goose. Their original plan was to undergo maintenance on that aircraft and make us wait a while. Finally, they ended up just sending a different aircraft to operate our flight and arrived at the gate around 4 o'clock. People were obviously not very happy with these delays, but it was now time to finally board. Strap and to release, lift up on the top of the buckle. The seatbelt should be worn low and tight across your lap. Our Airbus 320 has eight emergency exits. There are two door exits in the front and two door exits in the rear. Good evening and welcome aboard. We're going to be zooming the cabin lights for the duration of the flight. Should you need additional lighting, there's a reading lamp located in the passenger service unit right above your head.
Now that we're in the air, let's talk about the seat. The legroom was actually pretty good as I was expecting worse. The tray table was pretty much the same size as what I see in other domestic flights. Unfortunately, it was a little bit dirty though. And Frontier, being a low-cost airline, does not have in-flight entertainment systems, but it does have a nice little holder where you could put something like a phone or a tablet to watch movies you may have downloaded. The seat back pocket was an alright size, although I feel like it could be a little bit wider. And the fact that there was already quite a lot of things in the seat back pocket didn't really make it better, but here's what was in it. First off, we have the good old safety book. Then there's basically a Frontier magazine, which includes their overpriced menu, the routes that they fly, and some other things. And of course, there was also a barf bag. Now, since the snacks were pretty expensive and the flight was pretty short, I didn't get anything. So I can't really voice on their snack service. But I'm sure there are plenty other videos that do, so you should probably go check those out. But... As the darkness came in, it was time to land in Raleigh. Let's briefly talk about this flight. Overall, I would give it a 6 out of 10. There were pros such as the legroom, but there are also significant cons such as the amount of time that we were delayed. I will have a more detailed rating in the description below if you want to check that out. But anyways, that's all for me today. Stay tuned for some more flight review videos in the coming months, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye